Well, welcome back to the Melbourne Cricket Ground and a reminder to our East Coast viewers that seven nightly news is coming up right after the football. But the big story tonight, and no doubt the story that will lead the news, is that Collingwood is the champion of the Australian Football League, winning its first premiership in 32 years. 13-11-89 to Essendon 5-11-41. The main goal kickers, Barwick kick two, Brown two, Krasiska two, Russell two and Dacos, two gems for Collingwood. And for Essendon, Salmon kicked their first two goals, two of the match, and ended with two. So 13-11-89 to Essendon 5-11. In the reserves earlier today, Carlton looked down and out late in the third quarter, but came back to beat Melbourne 14-15-99 to Melbourne 11 15 81 so a three goal margin there to Carlton that will give David Parkin some fuel for next year and in the under 19s North Melbourne handsomely over Melbourne so bad luck for the Demons today it was North Melbourne 16 goals 12 108 to Melbourne five goals 14 44 so North Melbourne winning the under 19s Carlton the reserves but the big story is that Collingwood is the premiers and the first team to win an AFL premiership by defeating Essendon by eight goals. Paul Salmon disappointed. He started so very well and gave Essendon such promise early, but he was forced to go into the rut, and it really wasn't a good day for Essendon. But for Collingwood, a day they'll never forget. Dacos with those two magical goals. They were absolutely brilliant. So it's been a day where the longest and most famous journey in football has finally come to its conclusion. Lee Matthews and his 20 men have finally made it to the top of the mountain, and I hope you've enjoyed the trip with us on Seven Sport today. It wasn't a day that Essendon will remember, but it's a day that football, I think, will rejoice and celebrate with the Collingwood Football Club. They've waited a long, long time. They deserve their victory. Good afternoon from the Melbourne Cricket Ground.